two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. La, 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 la. Secrets found, endings, epilogue, stats. Yep. Then we're about to record. Uh huh. Okay, you know I haven't made any dishes in a week, right? I haven't made any dishes in a week. Right. For for my stuff, right? By the under. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac. In the last part, well, it didn't go so well. In this part, we're going to try out Eve. Um, I also did one part off camera. Sorry, guys. Just had to load up my program there. All right. So we also did one part off camera, but to no avail. Uh, that part also didn't go so well. There was a mild uh, issue with the frame rate. And I didn't feel like uploading it. There wasn't anything of particular interest that I can't do right now. Which is just to bring you guys happiness and joy. And lovely arrays of gameplay called The Binding of Isaac. This is a good, this is a good game. I like it. So we already, we're starting off with uh, five, five dollar, dollar, dollar coins, bro. Um, actually, I have a pretty funny story. Uh, have you guys ever heard of the game NBA Ballers Chosen One? Um... Probably not, because it's a terrible, terrible game. You know those games that you get um, as like Christmas presents, because you know your grandparents or your parents just kind of don't don't know what you what you would like, and they just see a cheap game. They're like, "Oh, they'd probably like this. This looks good," and then they buy it for you, and you're like, "What the hell is wrong with you, family? What made you think I'd want NBA Ballers Chosen One? Such a terrible, terrible, terrible game." But more importantly. We started uh, using the words ballers to represent dollars. So, ballers chosen one. Balla balla your bills, y'all. <laughs> and that is why I thought of that story. NBA ballers chosen one. Any of you have any memories of that? Post it in the comments below. I really doubt it. It's such a bad game. Oh, and of course, me playing The Binding Isaac means that I forget to turn off all my accessories. Yes. And more importantly, I'm rich, bitch. Um, I know what you guys are all thinking. When the hell is he going to do? Let's learn something new with Project R. Yeah, I did it. All right. Forever alone. Got an attack fly. Does not take damage. But it does attack things, which is fantastic. So today, what we are learning, ladies and gentlemen, will be about decision making. Making decisions. The hard decisions in life. I'm going to go to the shop, actually. I have 15 whole coins, so hopefully I can buy something delicious and awesome. Uh, more importantly, though, we make um, a lot of... Okay, treasure map. Let's go with that. Sweet. Now we know where all the secret rooms are. And I'm pretty sure it also gives us a general outline of where the rooms are. I'm not too sure if it's the, like the compass or... Anyways, I'll just go ahead and use my last bomb. But we're going to be learning about making decisions. Um, and it seems like that would overlap with uh, risk versus reward, but it doesn't. The Binding of Isaac is very impressive in its ability to make the player feel completely ingrained in the gameplay while also um, allowing that luck element to uh, be a center point, like a key point for this game. But it, the choices that you make as a... Um, as a player, seem to like be an uh, integral part of um, your success or not. So if it was, let's say, you know, you've played a couple of games probably where, uh, let's take or like a game of cards, like uh, Solitaire doesn't really feel like it has a lot of skill to it. I mean, some people can claim that they there is a lot of nuanced skill that goes into Solitaire, but uh, I, I will instead say that uh, I hate Solitaire and that it's stupid and it's all luck based. More importantly, the Binding of Isaac may at first seem like it's completely luck. I mean, the items you get kind of decides how well you do. But I don't feel like that's the case. 
you make a lot of decisions over the course of the Binding of Isaac that decide how well you're going to do or how bad you're going to do. I took damage on purpose just to get out my bird. That's exactly what I did. Well, the pretty fly and the dead bird are doing good amount of damage. They did most of the work in that fight. And I knew I was going to get a little bit of health from that fight, but of course shouldn't take any risks when it comes to any of these bosses in future. I also got an HP up, which is great. Um, nothing to, to write home about, though. So we'll keep on going. But yeah, decision making, important. So if we look at games like Mass Effect uh, 3, that's a very good example. Um, basically in Mass Effect 3 you're given like a list of scrolling options to make your decisions. You're making textual, text-based, uh, textual? That's not really, it's like kind of a weird word, but anyways. You make text-based decisions to decide how the story would progress, how the game will end, how uh, even stuff, minor events will, will come out, you know, what kind of rewards you're going to be getting, someone going to die at certain parts. Speed up. Awesome. I love anything that will upgrade me. Um, but more importantly, let's go back to the topic at hand, which is Mass Effect 3, in that it's very much a cut and dry. It feels like decision making. It feels like you have an integral part in uh, what ends up happening at the end of the game. Now, with The Binding of Isaac does this a lot more subtly in the set fact that um, when we're making important uh, decisions, we're trying to figure out, okay, what will be the best way to go about, um, you know, wh which room should I go? What direction should I go? What Should I pick up this item? Should I not pick up this item? You know, and all of this has a very direct and almost instantaneous um, result. Like, you'll see almost right away if your decision was a bad one or a good one. And from there, you learn. You learn from your decision making with The Binding of Isaac, which is just a sign of a great game. You just, um... You learn from decision making, basically, and from there you continue to, to grow as a player and continue to get better and better, as I feel like I am. And holy shit, a lot of things on screen. A little bit of frame rate drop there, but nothing huge, because uh, my PC's a boss. And we got a grandfather fly who's in the back while he lets all the little pretty flies do all the work for him. Alright, another free chest with a pill that we don't know what it does. And tears down, great, exactly what I wanted this time of of the year for Christmas. Santa didn't get me nothing. Alright, more importantly, I've been saying that a lot. A lot in, in a bunch of my parts. It's pretty bad. Of course I ran into stupid stupid damage. Now I've got two enemies who are coming, or two allies who are coming to my aid to do uh, bajillion amounts of... Oh, I didn't even see this, uh, this cute guy in the corner. I was like, why is the level not done yet? Or the room, I should say. But yeah, so hopefully I'll have a few more instances where I can show you guys how um, decision making plays an integral part of the Binding of Isaac. Oh, tons of money. And then we've got 12 coins, so that means we can almost buy the full price item on this floor. But instead, we're going to first keep going and try looking. Oh, we're two coins away from getting the best item in whatever uh, happens to be at the uh, item shop for this run. And I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, low on health. I'm not doing super good on the damage end. But all, things can switch around really quickly in the Binding of Isaac. Another reason why it's such a great game. But more importantly... <laughs> Holy crap. It's coming out of my mouth like, like like nothing. Oh my god, I hate these enemies. These enemies suck. These enemies really suck. I hate them. I hate them. I don't want to die here. But focus. 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 Focused. Success. Okay, I don't have any keys. I need a key. Give me a key. Wheel of Fortune. I can play the slots until I get a key. I need also health. I almost ran into that. Less darn... Okay, so my attack fly is going to do all the damage while I, um, uh, there we go. Good job, attack fly. And we got a nickel. Go, attack fly, go. Boop. <laughs> this is pretty funny. So, um, as it stands, I'll be able to probably show you guys a, um, oh, shit, shitty crap. So, um, now we are, like, oh, oh, overpowered like crazy. Slot machine. Let's try and get stuff. Oh, come on. I I need a key within like one. Otherwise, I've completely messed up my chances of getting good items. A heart. Oh, boy. I wonder if in the next room I will... Oh, a fly. Thank you for that. Um, so we need a key. I'm not leaving here without a key. 
We're getting a couple hearts, so we're replenishing our health that way. There we go. Let's see what we got. We got a spoon bender. So we have homing shots. That's pretty impressive. So yes, and then we also got a spirit heart. Um, I'm going to do something a little fancy in that I will come back for that slot machine after I check the shop just to double check. Just to make, I can't go to the shop. Right, thank you for putting that, for telling me through your, your mind. I don't have enough, I don't have a, a key. So instead, I'll just play the slots like a hoe. Cool. Nothing. Cool. Good stuff. So as you can see, we've made some, wow, what, what's this? Unlocked a new character? What, what was that? What does the dollar bill do? Uh, maybe speed? No, no. I always have problems with the uh, controls. Um, so I just... Oh, I see. that I have 99 coins. But a bitch ain't won. Oh, wow. I just got the lucky foot appeared in the basement. So I've just... I've, I've achievement unlocked. I have over 55 coins. And I just got the dollar to do that. So I can buy everything. I just need a key. Oh, that sucks. Man. Well, this is going to be a huge benefit to me. Uh, money being a, a big part of that. Can't go, so... Let's see what happens here against Monstro. So we shouldn't have any problem against Monstro. Beaten Monstro lots of times. But so far we've been having good payoff for our decision making. You know what? Watch it come bite me in the ass. There's going to be some decision I make that's going to be terrible. And it's going to like ruin my playthrough pretty hardcore. Um, because that seems to always happen. The Binding of Isaac knows my topic of discussion for the day. So, Tears Down is doing no help for us, but the homing shots are making this pretty easy. I need more range to really, uh, like, own Monstro from afar. Because that's sort of the, the best way to get, like, a good distance on Monstro. And then not to take silly... That uh, was such a slow-moving projectile. Why did I... Why did I hit that? Yo. Well, at least uh, I got the bird out. The bird's out doing lots of damage. Um, just for taking a little bit of damage. So, it's kind of one of those, you know, catch-22s. That's not really a catch-22. <laughs> and we're going to get range up. Exactly what I asked for. And unfortunately, 99 coins and we cannot spend a 1. But that's alright. We're really early in this run-through. We're going on to the Caves 1. And hopefully, our decisions have will pay off. And I, I love I'm trying to... So we can, as we can see, this was a bad one. This was a very bad decision. I need to quickly kill everything in here. And hope that uh, there is nothing bad happens to me. Nothing bad. Well, oh, the bird came out, kind of cleaned up. Wow, two spirit hearts from this room. This is turning out to be a really good run. I'm not going to jinx myself. I always say I feel really good, but guys, I feel really good about this part. I feel really, really good. Uh, the pretty, the pretty fly, the attacking fly, is doing a pretty good job. Um, I'm trying to line it up as much as possible, but it's more important that I don't take damage. More so, and that speed up is really helping me. With, um, with dodging most of my enemies. I'm at a really good spot in my speed upgrade set where I am able to move around quickly. And with the homing shots, it's not too awkward to, to get most of those hits on, actually. So this is good. Homing missiles. Those are the coolest thing we've ever created. Uh, definitely in video games, homing missiles have always been kind of overpowered and the best thing ever because they always lock on targets and they always kill your, t your foe, which is pretty fun. Oh. These are leapers? Are they both leapers or one of them just a leaper? I think only one of them's a leaper. Yeah, maybe. Maybe this guy's a a leaper. I don't know. He's not really doing anything. Cool. Alright, so we'll go ahead and homing missile homing shots are doing all the damage. And get get rid of those double flies. Pretty close. And then let's get rid of the spawner. And not do that. Man, what a waste of a shadow shadow soul heart. That's another one. It's not just shadow or spirit. It's also um, called soul heart. Some people call them soul hearts. What do you guys think? Comment section below. Tell me what you think about uh, the shadow versus spirit versus soul hearts. And why you feel, because you need a why, why you feel it's uh, that whichever one is the best one for, for what you're, for what we're discussing. Come on, bird. Do your thing, bird. My dead bird's doing nothing. There was like one more of these guys in here. I would have totally taken a ton of damage. These enemies, I, I find, I have like one of the most difficult. Other than, I don't know, the fallen. Gosh, that was just so brutal to see. It's devastating. 
It knew. The game knew I was talking about the devil part. Oh. And this one. Um, let's, uh, hope... Okay, let, when we come into a situation where decision-making will be of great importance... Okay, just watch your character right now, and don't worry about where you're shooting because the homing shots. Um, that's a decision I made because the Gish really shoot in uh, an X pattern, and when there's more than one of them, it's a little difficult to read them, so instead, just watch those bullets. Um, like, I've, like I've said time and time again, go into the shop because we can buy out everything. So we have a Book of Revelations. We have Tears Down. So I'll just replace that. Got that. And we also have the compass. So now we know where everything is. Period. Good. And then I'm not going to buy the key because, I mean, I don't need to just buy everything. But, I mean, it would be nice. Uh, and then I will use this to get to the secret room. And here we have a one-up. So if we die, we get completely restored of our health. Not with spirit hearts included. And I'm pretty sure we go back to our, like, two heart limit. Like, we lose the uh, HP ups. I'm pretty sure, but I'm not too certain. Uh, tears up. Ugh, these guys are getting knocked back like a bunch of bros at the military conference. And... Ah. Ah. All right, cool. That was a terrible joke. They're knocking back cold ones like a like a military excursion into some unknown. Oh god, this is so frightening. Ah, there we go. Oh come on. I'm trying very hard not to take damage here, but I'm taking lots of damage. Oh my gosh, really? Really? Really really? Really I have homing bullets and everything and ugh. And we also got chocolate milk, so now we have charge shots. Even more damage. Great. Woo! Charging up my mouth with the charge shots. Um, hopefully. Oh, come, 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 come on, come on now, come on, game. Be friend, be friendly, please. Oh, I've, I've spent so much time. My charge shots aren't really charging any, anymore. There we go. Now they're charging. It's weird with the homing shots. Homing charge shots. Come on, like how? How can I lose? You know what? I'm going to have to backtrack for some health because I am awesome like that and wasted so much um, <laughs> so much health on uh, silly, silly encounters. But that's part of buying the Isaac. You can't just be pro all the time. You can just be pro most of the time. No, you can't even be pro most of the time. Actually, I'm pretty sure that this is the most stupid thing I've ever done because that, that particular heart was unattainable. Um... Thank you for wasting time, Project Dark. I really appreciate that. Oh, no problem, Project Dark. You're very welcome. Continuing on, we have a mob trap room up ahead, which... Uh, oh, wait. I have the book of something or another. Which book is this? Um, oh, look. It's the beggar. Um, so that means I'm going straight on to the boss. Oh. It gives me a spirit heart? Fantastic. I should use that sooner. Uh, and I can't get across to this guy. What's in the mob mob trap room? If there's a bomb in here, it's totally worth it. Totally worth it. Okay. Use charge shots like I can. I know I can. Hopefully, we have enough money to give uh, judgment that we should be able to get uh, a sneakily good item out of it. Um, luckily we have, you know what I really want is the battery would be great right around now. So apparently, um, the charge shots are much better if I just spam them than if I, uh, take the time to charge them. Oh, come on, come on. So it seems the, uh, dead bird can attack enemies when they're, uh, in their defensive positions. So, eh, kind of want to help, but anyways. More importantly, I don't want to screw up this bomb. Uh, please just do it properly. Yes. Good. Alright, give me things, Judgment. Judge me. I'm going to just feed this guy money until I get stuff. That was fast. And Steam Sale. Oh, if I could go further. Oh, I feel like, I feel like this is... Whatever's in here is definitely death. So I'm going to charge up my mouth full of chocolate milk. 
And I'm against Pestilence, which I haven't faced yet. And he's one of the horse of the apocalypse. The four horsemen of the apocalypse. And eh, it's not too bad. Got the attack flies doing damage. There we go. So he's just shooting out explosive whatnots and little little itty bitty cute guys. Oh, he's lost his head, which is a danger to him and those around him. And now he's just shooting out little pretty flies. And if you go anywhere near him, you, uh, you you're gonna feel it. So he's a little easier than a lot of the other enemies that we've fought in the Binding of Isaac. In the fact that uh, you just kind of have to, you know, try and stay close to him, and then back up when he shoots the uh, deliciously oh, oh, deal with the devil. I really don't have enough health to make a deal with the devil, but I do have full health now. Um, I'm almost tempted to not go in there in case. Well, I want to see. Oh, you bastard! You knew! You knew! You knew! You piece of shit! You know what? Actually, this isn't that bad because if if I do do well against um, Krampus, then um, it won't be a huge loss because uh, I do get a lump of coal, which I still don't really know what that does. And of course, I would just go to cross. Uh, oh, come on! I'm probably gonna lose my one up here because I'm I'm so good at this game. One thing, actually, someone pointed out in the comments uh, as a little tip to give you guys, depending on which direction you're moving. Uh, it actually curves your shots, so when you need to curve your shots, I know I'm, I'm holding myself so it's overly dramatic. Okay, so I don't want to die. I want to just keep right around this. Okay, good. And what you want to do is is you can curve your shots, basically. I'm going to stay patient, wait for my time. Oh my gosh. As if, oh my gosh, Krampus, really? Oh my gosh, this game is brutal. Uh, um, oh my gosh, <laughs> half a heart, I have a bomb, there's, there's, I could have bought a key, I can buy a key, crap, try bombing rocks, I'm just doing a quick, I'm gonna go see if, just in case there's a, a tinted rock I missed, because honestly, there's, I can't survive like this. This is uh, this is unbelievable. Like I have such a good build, but I'm just so bad at this game. Oh, and I still just have that the tears down freaking pill is taunting me as well. No rocks. And I still have charge shots. Great. No tinted rock. I can get to this heart, which is you know what, better than nothing. So if I fight an enemy who takes, I mean, I do have the one up, so I'm, I sh I'm not, like, it's not game over, but I want this to last as much as possible. Look at Eve. Just looks trampled on. Oh my gosh. That's, uh, that sucks. All right, guys, but I have a good feeling about this run. This is, I get good feelings. I'm, I'm getting good vibrations from this, from this run. Good, good feelings? I'm going to stick with that. Caves 2. Fantastic. All right. There is, there's a tinted rock, which I will be using. Come on. Come on, you son of a gun. You know, who, what is this son of a gun? What does that even mean? There we go. So we do have no bombs. But we now have a bomb. So obviously my health is a priority, so I'm going to have to make the decision of using a bomb to get two spirit hearts. Um, I just feel that's just the best thing I can do for the time being. I know exactly where everything is. I got the arcade available to me. Uh, this isn't going to be too bad, actually, considering the fact that we have... Oh my god, don't walk into that, you idiot. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay. We're going to be at the item room soon, which is near the boss room. Oh, of course the flies would take it. Come on. Take it. Ugh. Yes, I know. You can cough up flies. You're sickly. We're supposed to feel bad for you in some some capacity, I'm sure. But instead, I'm going to destroy you. <sighs> I need health. I need health so bad. Oh my gosh, bomb flies. Oh my gosh, bomb flies. 
Oh my gosh. Oh, so little health, so little health. Oh, you bastard! Oh, my bird fricked me over there. Tears up. Great. Exactly what I needed. Fire rate seems to be up too. Uh, I need something. Okay, I can use the uh, whatever the book this is. And I got a spirit heart, so I'm a little bit better set. If only I could just get at a at a positive here. If I could go up, I would. That would be so helpful. Okay, going to the shop. There we go. Good some good dodging there. Man, that that one up is going to be the crucial to this, and I don't want to have to use it now. And by use it, I mean it automatically gets used because I've damaged myself too much. These homing shots are disgusting, but I still can't seem to do anything with it. Oh my gosh, look at how much damage I'm doing. All right, the shop. Oh, you bastard! I have a steam sale and you give me greed? Oh, I don't need money. Don't give me money. Wow, look at how much damage I do, though. Ridiculous amounts of damage. Look at all that money. Wow, I needed, I needed health more than anything else, and instead, I got screwed over! Oh, this is fantastic. Okay. What can I do? This is what I'll do. Pretty fly? Go. Yeah! No, oh, it doesn't work. Well, what I can do is do it against this guy. I can't get the, uh... I hate this room. I hate this setup. 100%. This is like my... Okay, so I'm just going to use one charge shot. Should be enough. My speed is really high, so that's really alarming. So as long as I get, like, a shoot off a hit or two. There we go. Whoa. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Good. Uh, man, I don't even want to go further. One knows what evils await me. This room. Ah. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I don't know if it's better to be using my charge shots, considering my current rate of fire, or not, but uh, it's, I've seen to be very unsuccessful in using charge shots. I actually now have uh, a bomb to use to get to the secret room. Oh, a key. don't need that. Well, at least it's a free room. Super bomb flies. Or... Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. Okay, come on. These are not super bomb flies. These are super, super, angrifying people. Oh gosh, got. It doesn't look hard, but it is. Okay. Nothing but money and time, guys. I'm gonna get so overpowered right now. I don't even care. I don't even care. Let's play both. Yeah. Oh, come on. Wow, I have no luck on my side this run at all. Okay, next time I'm not picking the, the end one. That's so frustrating. Got a key. Oh my god. Stop it. Stop it, game. I should be winning. I have a one in three chance. Oh no. No! Oh. No! You bastard! Oh my gosh. Come on. Oh, I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to blow you up soon. I don't need money. Oh my gosh, I don't need money. I don't need money. Oh, okay, come on. Give me... Okay, that's great. Good stuff. Don't need keys. Oh, he's eventually gonna just be out of, out of things for me to get. Um. Okay, come on. Try following. I I promise I don't even I didn't even follow. No, that's one time I thought I was following as well. Can't use the blood bank. I'm gonna have to blow that up. I'm still not getting any bombs. Finally, I have chance of getting a heart and of course there's no oh my gosh this game's gonna get, make me rage and like it's like being it's fair I mean like I sucked pretty bad and it's just taunting me with these hearts I should be getting like two hearts should be able to play the blood, blood bank 
This is this is frustrating. Oh my gosh, this is actually a good item. I got a Gatol. I got Fly Love. That's strange. Gonna have to blow this up to get nothing, but maybe a heart, heart and a half. I'm at full health, and oh my gosh, what a waste. What another waste of time that was. I got a little bit more health, but that was it. Um, I'm going to defeat one more room before going on to the, against the boss. I can see the entire map, so there's no reason for me to continue uh, past that. But I want to be able to get one more set of Shadow Hearts. And of course, this room isn't going to be of any consequence to me. So, let's go ahead ruin ruin someone's day. And then get myself an extra little Shadow Heart. Hopefully that gives me the edge I need. Apparently, flies love me. So, like I said, I'm just going to leave it. Okay, so this is probably the furthest I've gotten in a few playthroughs. Uh, hopefully, I've made some good decisions. And I know it's like, Roger, you stop it, you're annoying. No, you need to know decision making is important, including all those times where I got screwed over by my luck. That was a decision on my part. All right, let's see how bad Chubb takes it. Take it badly, Chubb. Take it from, from the rear. All right, tears are crazy amounts of fire rate. Okay, so just kind of getting my bird out. That's what I did. I didn't purposely take. I took. Uh, yes, I purposely took damage just to get my bird out, just to kill Chubb just that much faster. So it seems that uh, it's hard to say if charge shots do more or well, they definitely do more. Okay, to deal with the devil. We have an HP up, so this might be of value to me, uh, considering that we have this book right here. Okay. Seven deadly sins. Or what is that other item? What does it do? What does it do? Ladies and gentlemen, I need to know. In the comment section below, tell me what this thing does before I pick it up. And warn me that it's a bad idea and that I should really not pick it up at all. Oh, I don't want to pick it up, but I should. I don't. I don't know. It's two hearts. Oh, gosh. Uh. Uh. You know what? Let's just do it. Damage up. All right. I also got some spirit hearts. Oh, fell down. I didn't mean to do that. I still haven't got anything. I'm in the depths one, finally. I think this is the first time this has happened, ever. Um, with Eve, especially. This is the furthest I've ever gotten with Eve. So, mob trap room. Well, we're definitely going to head down to the item room. And then we're definitely going to stop by the shop because we have a ton of money. Nothing but time and, and lots of free... Whoa. Man, calm down. Tommy horses. We do have a tempted rock here. Um, no bombs though. So continue downward. Oh, this could end badly if I don't. Wow, my damage is really impressive at this point. Yeah, there we go. The homing shots are doing everything I need them to. Um, wow, <laughs> wow. With that many shadow hearts, I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable. There, I know they aren't regular health, but like. It's, it's more than makes up for it. Um, got an extra little coin there. We're going to destroy this poop. I have poop on my head. What the hell? All right. And then we've got Charm of the Vampire, which kills heal. Um, will not give me Shadow Hearts, I don't believe. Which is, you know what? It's not a huge deal. Wow, look how much damage this does. If only I didn't have charge shots, I'd probably do a lot better because I, I wouldn't need to press like a wild, wild man. So uh, I do have a, you know, I could blow that up. I may end up going to go check out the mob room if I do uh, enough, if I'm successful enough in my um, continuous parts. You know what's really annoying? Those stone guys in the center. They aren't actual enemies that can be affected by damage. They just turn off as soon as um, the, all the enemies in the room are killed. So let's keep moving. Follow the shadows. Follow the shadows and watch those bullets. And then, of course, uh, my fire rate is disgusting, so I'm going to hit most of the time almost every time so that means I have to go down just go to the item shop or here's the slots this is kind of an awkward spot for a slot let's hope I get maybe a shadow heart 
That'd be cool. Got a bomb. Got a coin. Huh. Slots have been in my favor. Got one for one. Okay, yeah, get. Let's keep playing. Oh, a fly showed up. That's kind of annoying. I wonder if uh, what item I'm gonna get. If you eventually, if you pay up into the slot enough, it will eventually destroy itself and give you an item, which can range anything from like an HP up to. Uh, I've gotten some weird things from the slots before. Yeah, we should have enough item, enough you know, money to also spend at the shop as well. Anything else? Mm, this seems to be taking our money at this point. Hoping for some sort of... Okay, we got a pretty fly. That's good. Uh, apparently, we flies love me because I have poop on my head. So, I have another pretty fly. Wow. That's really good. And then more. I got another dollar. What the? Two dollars in one run. That's, that's impressive. That's really impressive. My luck turned all the way around. So there is also another uh, location where I can bomb, but I will keep that for the um, secret secret room because of the fact that, well, it might have an actual item inside of it. Let's hope. Here's to hope. Oh, and that bomb's going to do that for us. So keeping track of, we have two rooms where we could potentially have spirit hearts. And, oh, we got health up, which I don't think turned into spirit hearts. I, I need to keep track of that a little better. And another place where using a bomb would get us spirit hearts. I really need to buy or use bombs or something. There was an enemy that glitched right there, honest to God. If you guys could see that on your screens, that would be amazing, but I couldn't. Okay. So everything's half price. You know what that means? I'm buying it all. Yep. Gonna get this. I'm gonna get buy a shadow heart. And you know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna come over here, use my ladder. Booyah! Get a free coin back as well. Piece of cake. Get that. I'm gonna blow this up. Go to the secret room. Inside we have ridiculous more amounts of money. We need more bombs though. Uh, I feel like an RK would have been nice again just to play another dollar in the single run. This is the most lucky run ever, and it's all because of my decision making. Don't 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 kid yourselves. It has nothing to do with luck. It's all decision making, guys. There's just sometimes when your decisions come together, they come together properly. Oh, I ran into damage because I got a little I'm a little excited. I'm actually really excited with a build like this. I'm decimating rooms. I'm not struggling to deal with most of my encounters. I'm I'm losing losing shadow hearts quickly. Um, don't forget to you know keep on using that book. What the what what the wow he's just like right on top of me, which is great. Just charged into me. Finally, we have a tears down for a tears down. It honestly, of all the things to get, I got a tears down for a tears. You know what I should have done? There we go. That makes sense. So we can go straight to the boss and go to the mob room. Well, let's take a look to see what the uh, the mob room has to offer. It'll also give us some more spirit hearts. No, we're at a little bit of a loss, but you know what? I feel like I can afford to do it because now I can do that. Look at that. Boom. Got an extra bomb. So now I'll be able to grab even more spirit hearts. Um, might as well just use it here. Oh, and look at that. We got two bombs for the price of one. And we'll just use this to cross. Hey, look. Secret. Secret. Awesome. What's in here? Hello. Hello, room full of brains. Oh, right. That old thing. No, come, come on. I have this, like, location where I can take no damage. This is ridiculous that I took any damage. And Oh, my gosh. Wow. I gotta watch out for those brains. They seem to be the bane of my existence. I get a little too excited after I kill them. All right. Oh, well. Come back for the money. Shadow heart for free. What? You know, how, how much is it for free? Let's see. What What is the game offering me at this point in the game? A chest. I feel kind of feeling good. Well, I got judgment, which is good. Uh, for my current, you know, money situation. So this is probably going to be, as long as I don't take any damage, as long as I take minimal damage, this will be of great benefit to me. Oh my gosh. So I was like, no damage. Yeah, and then I was like, minimal. So then I took a whole shadow heart. So that made it a little bit more unrealistic. Luckily I have the speed to out-dodge these guys. 
over and over and over again. No, no concern to me at all. There we go. And last enemy. Uh, well, there's a heart here. Can't really use it. Uh, I guess there's one last room to check out. And then I'll use Judgment after that. Alright. Boom. Okay. Gotta not take damage against these brains. Okay. Take your time. Okay. Oh! Free... Okay. Okay. Please, I just need like the most, the bestest item ever. I seem to have all of a sudden lost all my spirit hearts and all chances of actual success. Anything, judgment? Okay, got a heart. Maybe some spirit hearts? Wow, kind of mean. You blew yourself up? You blew, you blew, oh god. Oh no, it's happening again. I have the one up, but I only have two health because I made a deal with the devil. Oh gosh. Oh god, oh man, oh god. Oh man. Oh god, oh man. Oh boy. Alright, let's fight the boss. Let's hope it's something easy. I'm really hoping it's something easy. Versus Headless Horseman. They never. What? What the heck? Interesting. So we've got two things to worry about here. We've got a charging enemy and an enemy that. Oh, he charges more than once. This isn't too bad though. Uh-huh. This isn't too bad. Well, we already took out one of the two guys. So let's focus down on the horse and not take a whole dent. Wow, a whole heart of damage. I'm going to die if he hits me again. Alright. You know, just focus. Gotta get just actually make contact with the enemy. Little Chad has appeared in the basement. Oh, he's so cute. We got a heart back. What does this do? A pony. Oh, it like warps me across the screen. Um, and I can't make any deals with the devil. So now we're going on to the depths too with so little health, but a very strong character. So I'll see what I can do.